Okay guys, we're gonna be doing a quick EGR cleaning on a 2017 uh, Chevy Volt. Uh, this is a hybrid, what happens, what tends to happen is uh, the exhaust, the, the EGR system can kinda of get kinda of dirty. I've already cleaned the EGR valve right here. If you ever have any issues, that is the first thing I recommend doing because this stuff can be uh, quite sticky. Uh, so you wanna definitely give it a good cleaning. Uh, before you just go replace the valve because they can be expensive. So to actually get the EGR cleaned, it's actually pretty simple. Um, you're more than welcome to take it off the car, but uh, I found a workaround um, that I think will work pretty well after studying the system. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take off this valve cover. I'm sorry, uh, cover, beauty cover. It's probably the correct term. You're gonna take that off. Be careful here, because you see this right here this looks around here so be careful when you remove this um there is one bolt here that i previously remove removed but everything else is just kind of um just a little rubber grommets to hold it down here so uh pull firmly but gently it's the best way i can describe it so once you get that out of the way the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to remove all of these bolts now this front one you don't have to remove and there is one bolt that faces pretty far down there that's too difficult but uh, to get the room that we need um, you don't have to remove this front one completely you just need to get everything loose enough so that you can remove okay, remove this back one you're gonna set that aside once you got that done now, I do apologize because I have um, kind of moved some stuff out of the way already, but I'm going to walk you back through it just so you know what to do here. The next thing is, and the main reason why you want to pull this is one of the exhaust go, uh, gas probes, temperature probes, is connected to this just to get a little bit more slack. So you remove this, uh, you disconnect this guy, there's a quality assurance clip, you pull it back, you, you press this down, and then you pull this out uh, from that connector. Okay, and then, uh, or you can remove it here, but I didn't want to disturb that. Uh, I've previously had this off, so I have a little silicone on here, uh, high temp copper silicone. You probably will not have that. Um, you can either reuse this or replace the gasket, whichever you want to do. There is a little metal gasket that's still, it's still uh, stuck on right there. So once you get that out, um, you're going to move around to this other side where I have this black hose attached here. Right there, there is this EGR probe. So you're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench. You can unscrew this. It is tight quarters. It's probably easier to do by hand. Uh, you're, going to clean the tip of, you're going to clean the tip of this guy off that's inside, and then you're going to attach a rubber hose. Okay? So the way that this EGR system is laid out, this, this point is um, the lowest point in the system, which is great. Because what we can do now, because the EGR recirculates back into the intake, this goes uphill, up and around the motor, into the back, into the back of the intake. So it literally follows around the side of the engine block, goes to the back, and bolts behind there. But because this is the lowest point, what you can do is you can fill this up with purple power, which is what I've done here. And all I've done is just pour purple power in here. And you can see it already dissolves it in here. You're going to fill it up until it fills up. Now, uh, the cool thing about that is you don't have to worry about taking the whole EGR system out. You can, you can then basically suck all of the, the dirty, the fluid that comes out through this. Now, what you're going to want to do is once you get this filled up with EGR, I'm sorry, purple power, um, which you can, you can see a little bit in there. Just soak for an hour. Then I'll come back, show you guys what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. All right, so it's been about an hour, guys. And um, fluid levels obviously holding. It's not going anywhere. Um, I actually do have a little adapter that go right to a vacuum hose, but I want you guys to be able to see what comes out of here, so I had to rig up kind of a clear container. So let's go ahead and get the vacuum started and uh, see how that works. <laughs> That's not an accurate representation of what's going on. I don't, I don't know what is, but this hasn't been cleaned. This car's got 60, around 60,000 miles on it, and as you can see, it's absolutely disgusting. This is like the equivalent of like a smoker's lung after I guess 60 years. But I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and get it buttoned back up, 
and uh, I'll go over that process. I'm going to flush some water through the system. All right, so what I was doing, this is a handy tool, but if you have compressed air, you can do the same thing. I was just back feeding it, um, just dry air essentially here, just to make sure any residual moisture is out of the system. So you probably don't have to do that if you got a good vacuum, but you know, just making sure. Um, I don't think a little bit of water will hurt, but uh, you know, better be safe than sorry. So next thing first, oh. Next up, rather, I got the little gasket on here, this little metal gasket. I put a little bit more of the copper silicone on it. Alternatively, you can just replace it. I was doing oil change, so I figured I was going to do this while I was in here, and I didn't really plan. I didn't get one of these. Uh, I'm going to get this back on here and uh, show you guys exactly how that goes. So just give me a second here. All right, let's see if I can do this one handed. I got some nifty tools here. There we go. Now I did start this by hand. Go a little bit there. So you just want to snug that up. It's 10 mil. You can check this by hand. I don't have torque but these are small bolts, so you just want to snug up. That's good. Not too tight. After you spent years torquing things, of course. So that was the tube that I had on there. That was sucking the fluid out. And then uh, put this uh, EGR Pro back in here. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. It's... Uh, spaces in there um, especially I wanted to definitely get this started by hand and I think if I had some offset winches it'd be easier but in terms of 17 mil this is all I have so I'm gonna fiddle with this for a little bit In the you guys, for you, not for you. Guys. It's basically, I turn the time. Thankfully, it's pretty close to red. So it's going to not be too terrible. Um, this line didn't like come off at all. But you do want to make sure you get it back where it is. You don't want it to be close to the catalytic converter. So let me get this snugged up, and I'll bring you back and show you how it's show you how it's supposed to look. Okay, so that's all back in. And route it securely. I put a wire back in this clip, and uh, come over here. Sorry, come over here. This here, this one underneath here. That goes. Good. I do believe this was brought it down there. There you go. That's the routing for all that. So I'm going to get this heat shield back on here. So I got all the screws in. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, and then seven. So we're just going to get these zipped in. One at a time. Let me change tools. Tools have to change. That one. That one. This one. <laughs> I can't believe I did a power tool. 
See if I can. You guys are gonna be able to see that, but I'm not. Maybe. So now that's all solid. That's back together. Let me get the uh, beauty cover for the top of the engine. Put that on, and we'll go from there. All right. So what I like to do is. I like to put the foam on first. That way I know everything goes where it's supposed to be. Then we'll put that on. Gonna give it a push here. Maybe not. Maybe here. There we go. And I think the other one's actually here. There we go. We got one screw. I forget oil cap back on that give it a good snug there we go Stick lightly in place. I gotta check the oil before we call it good. Let's check over everything. That's good. I uh, think that's a little close. So we're gonna. There we go. There's that. That's all good. Coming around here. It's nothing touching the wire che thing. I'm gonna start this thing up, get up to 10th, and we should be all good. I gotta do a couple of things related to the oil chains, like resetting the monitor and stuff like that. Um, but that concludes the EGR cleaning. So this will definitely help if you uh, if you want to do it as maintenance or if you're having some issues. So hope this helps you guys. Thanks. Bye.